To log in to the RentalSAS system, simply enter your login details provided by RentalSAS. Enter your username and then the password provided. Click the login button. Once you log in, you will see the initial dashboard screen shown by the Rental SaaS system. This gives you a brief snapshot of your current work in progress in terms of bookings, your rentals and availability of items. To look at the details of a booking, just move your mouse over the booking number and it will tell you the customer name and other details relevant to the rental. Once you log into the system, Rental SaaS gives you the flexibility to configure the system specific to your business requirements. For example, you may have your own rental agreement that you wish to send along with all your rental transactions. You can specify your rental agreement by just copying and pasting the text from your existing rental agreement into this area and you can save the details. Similarly, you can also send through your invoice terms and conditions by copying and pasting the text. Click the Save button. Rental SAS also allows you to specify your own rental periods. For example, regardless of your rental period, whether you rent based on a daily basis, hourly, weekly, monthly, etc., it's all configurable using this configuration screen. You can specify your rental period, the period value and whether it's based on days or hours. Once the entry is made, you can click the Save button to save the entry. As part of your rentals, if you charge your customers additional funds, such as security deposit or delivery charges, these are configurable using the Configuration menu and Custom Charges sub-menu. Go into the screen and you can specify the entry name, the general ledger account, such as other revenue, and whether it is GST free or GST included, and whether it needs to be shown as a default entry on your rental transaction screen. Once the entry is made, you can click the Save button. The Inventory menu allows you to enter additional information about the equipment that you rent. Go to the Inventory Management menu and select the item and you can specify various details associated with the item, such as the make and model and any other notes, the pricing of the item, the daily, weekly, monthly and whatever period that you have configured in your rental period. And also you can look at details such as the history of the item in terms of bookings or rentals for a specific date period. You can also add images to the item. Just click the Select Image to Upload button and the system will allow you to select JPEG files as images to be attached to the item. Once the data is entered, you click the Save button to save the details. One of the key functionalities of the Rental SAS system is the ability to maintain serial numbers belonging to your items. Instead of maintaining each serial number individually as an item in zero, you can specify one item code and enter as many serial numbers associated with the item. To add a serial number, just select the item and specify the serial number associated with the item and click the Add button to save the details. Now that we have the configuration and inventory details entered, we can start to input transactions into the system. Go to the Transaction menu and initially you can enter bookings or you can enter rental transactions straight to the system. To manage your bookings, just go to the Booking Details menu and in order to work with an existing booking, just click on the search button and select the booking number and you can edit details associated with that booking. You can change the shipping address. You can also look at what items are being rented out. 
You can also specify accessories that go with the item. You can look at other charges associated with the item. For example, if you wish to add a security deposit, just click Add Custom Charges, select Security Deposit and specify the amount, and click the Save button to save the details. Rental transactions are maintained using the Transactions and Rental Transactions screen. You can either create a new rental transaction or you can work with an existing transaction. To create a new transaction, just select the customer name and start entering the details. In order to work with an existing transaction, click the search button on the rental details screen and select the rental transaction that you wish to work with. This customer details card tells you the customer that this rental transaction is associated with and whether this is a short term or a long term rental. By clicking the continuous rental type on, you can specify the rental to be a long term rental. You can also specify items that are associated with this rental transaction. Specifically, you can enter details such as rentals period, for example starting from 27th of October. You can also specify line entries with different rental periods associated with this rental transaction. You can specify accessories. You can also specify other charges associated with this rental transaction. And also any other details associated such as delivery date, event time, pickup time, set up time and any dismantle time associated with the transaction. In order to convert a booking transaction to a rental transaction, go to the Rental Transaction screen and select the booking number that you wish to work with. Once you select the booking number, the details saved for the booking will be displayed and you can then specify the rental either as a short term rental or as a long term rental. Just click the continuous rental type to indicate that this is a long term rental. You can specify a different customer address or a different delivery address. So you can just copy the customer address to the shipping address to specify the default address details of the transactions. You can also look at additional details such as the rental items associated and you can specify the serial numbers associated with this particular rental transaction item. You can also specify the periods that you wish to work with. So for example this could be a daily and you can start from say the 13th of November and up to the 20th of November. Click Add Details and the system recalculates your rental amounts accordingly. You can also specify the details for the other items. Specify the details accordingly and then save the details. The system will ask you if you wish to proceed with partial items and you can say yes and the transaction is saved. A key feature of the Rental SAS system is the ability to extend your rental transactions for subsequent periods at the click of a button. You can either extend it as a single entry or you can extend it in bulk and for long term hires you can post the transactions of all the long term hires in one go at the click of a button. So in order to extend a single rental transaction just select the rental that you wish to extend and click the Extend Rental Agreement button. That will allow you to extend the transaction to a subsequent period. If you wish to extend the transactions in bulk, just select the screen and instead of including individual transactions, you can click the checkbox at the top and that will select all the transactions and you can extend them and post the transactions to zero. For creating invoices for all long term rentals in one go, just select the screen and select the long term agreements and click post to zero. And for those transactions the invoices will be created straight in zero.
Once the transactions are input, you are now ready to start extracting some reports out of the rental SAS system. You can look at item usage by customers. You can look at whatever rental transactions are due for a specific date range. Just click on the report name and you can specify whatever rental transactions are due. Say from the 8th of November through to the 30th of November. Include all the customers and click the view button. The system looks at all the rental transactions and other details and determines that these are all the rental transactions due to be returned within the specified date range of 8th of November to 30th of November. You can also extract a report to show items that are available within a specified date range. So if you have inquiries from customers for specific items during busy periods, you can extract for example available items from 1st of December through 31st of December. And you can select individual items or all items and click the view button to check the availability of these items based on your bookings and other rental transactions.